Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy Snoop D O W G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> Petty and T. Oh, Petty. OMG, I got the T. So they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it. As you all may know by now, there have been some serious allegations that Meek Mill is zesty and has something going on with P. Diddy. And not only is it a rumor, but it's legally documented on court record as well. But anyway, to make a long story short, his current girlfriend who he started to date not too long ago was initially not believing it and on some, she don't care what anybody has to say about her man, that's her man and she gonna stick by him. My man, my man, my man, my man. I'm from Philly, bad though we get into that. I will really write you about that shit you said on the internet. Okay, she loves to post him when she's out and about with him on dates, writing on the back of his dirt bike, when he buys her gifts, and even when he gives her cash money to make her feel better. And so yeah, she wasn't believing them. But now that it's been like day five, six, and definitely a whole new week, and Meek is still going and being weird with his Twitter fingers. Um, too bossy and too thorough to move like a weirdo. And Meek is still going and being weird with his Twitter fingers. From, you know, following Zesty Pages by mistake to liking a tweet that says that he's cooling his cakes in the pool after a long night of bender. <laughs> after, you know, Diddy called him daddy. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Which, by the way, is still sitting nicely in his likes a whole week later. Like, bro, you don't know how to unlike stuff? I'm confused, okay? And also him desperately trying to prove that he's not gay, which I mean, he has the right to do, right? It's his reputation, and although Meek is very incoherent when it comes to Twitter, Damn right, you might have flew, but you can't write. Making hella mistakes, as you can see. I think the red flags are finally starting to sit with her, especially after Meek wrote the following in a post and delete tweet. He put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crying laughing emojis the first time I laughed at being gay. But don't whip me in real life, I may swing. LOL. Huh? I told you he's incoherent when it comes to Twitter fingers. But yeah, so that was in response to a comedian roasting him in his own city. Ouch. He was like, I ain't even a girl her, period. That's how you know I love women. I was like, oh, he thinks that's disgusting. And you know who else thinks that's disgusting? <laughs> the gays. Them jokes were completely diabolical. But my thing is, why does Meek find that funny? Huh? Like they say, the truth is funny. So why was he mad at his own people for saying less? But the diabolical one from this person is the one that tickled him. He's done a lot of amazing things in prison reform. Getting all them gay dudes out. I need them on the street so I have to bust them cheeks. Oh no. No, 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 no. Make that make sense. And we wonder if he knows that the rumor would have been died down being that social media has a short attention span, but him reposting it, laughing and writing that literally promoted the video, giving it millions of views, which we literally witnessed because we was live and up late at night for it, okay? I seen the tweet. And therefore, keeping the gay speculation alive. Even if I ain't do it, they'd be like, you did it. Does Meek know what he's doing? Where's his team? Where are his friends? Where's his PR? Does he have a manager? Is he okay? But anyway, he did take it down a few hours later after he realized that he gave that video 20 times as many views as him trying to promote his own music and according to a trusted source, his girlfriend pressed him about why he even reposted it and she wanted to know what's funny about it, prompting him to really delete it and it led to them having a little argument and breaking up and then she deleted her IG account as well, as y'all can see. At the time that I'm doing this video, her page is deactivated and of course she may come back when she cools off or whatever, but the point is that her little fight with Meek about the gay tweet is why she deactivated it and why they broke up as we speak. I, don't need these holes. I mean, they may get back together, but as of right now, she's upset, she's suspicious of him, and stressed the F out. Being stressed comes with a lot. And we're sure that Meek meant to say, crying, laughing, the first time I laughed at being called gay, and not of the first time I laughed at being gay. Child, this boy needs help. Lost puppy, I tell you. Hmm. But what are y'all thinking right now? We really want to know, so leave your thoughts below. Like and share this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and if you haven't done so yet, be sure to become a channel member. Petsyblog.com, signing out.